Let's Talk Babies, the gaming show for the average Joe and far beyond. 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 Yeah! I'm the uh, gutter cat. I'm the lo-fi beat Nick, coming up close to you. And we're starting off today's show a little differently now. We're going to be moving our PSA section to some other kind of show we haven't decided yet, but you know, we're going to kind of just kind of rant on now. This show is going to, uh, Stock Gaze Gaming is mostly going to be topic based, and we're going to jump right into those topics right away. First one on the on the agenda, we're going to be talking about the Overwatch League, or not really the Overwatch League, but in general, how how esports n- conducts themselves. In the recent time, news about how one of the players for the Dallas Fuel um, XQC um, spat out some racial slurs when he was playing, and you know, gay gay hate speech and all that when he was playing a game of Overwatch uh, like on live TV. All right, here's the thing about esports and actual sports. Now, people are thinking, okay, we want to be like athletes, and athletes are blah, blah, blah. What's the difference in this and different things that? Now, I'll tell you the difference right now. Athletes tend to avoid stuff like this, like the plague, you know? While on esports, they're just saying it off the whim, you know? It's not really about, hey, I'm gonna talk to, to like this to my friends, no. This is just some untasteful stuff he said to someone he shouldn't have said. This was bad taste in general. This is why people can't really take esports seriously, in fact. Well, man, the, the way people think nowadays, I mean, like, we're all programmed to kind of like get angry, furious when we screw up things like that, you know, but I mean, it's been happening in, you know, I've, we're long time gamers, we understand. We, we've we've heard the uh, you know well we can't say it you know calling people blockheads you know you <laughs> yeah you know I mean you can't call someone a fucking blockhead I mean the other day you will not believe what someone called me he called me macaroni ears That's so he, so this this fuck this fuck called me macaroni ears and I said hey hey what what the turtle shit what the, what the turtle sh- whack shit are you talking about he says hey motherfucker you got macaroni ears. He he who who he he go Ooh, fuck yourself. Yeah right. Friend, you you know you like you like to play with other blockheads. Why don't you go freaking connect your blockhead to the other blockhead, huh? Why don't you have holes on top of your blockhead and find someone with big stumps in your blockhead, connect yourself and make a fucked up version of a robot? Well, like I said, we can't really go into what speak we speak about, but you guys understand what we're getting at. Take that. It's not. It's not. Shoeless. I mean, I mean, this is a thing that we need to get get over is the fact that. This world, this world is a is you know we we can't be hating on each other no matter what the hell we do. I mean like things like this can't be fly anymore. You can't well not even they shouldn't fly before, but they can't fly anymore because you know if you if you're gonna carry yourself in a league, like Overwatch League is trying to compete with sports with regular sports, so conduct yourself like a sportsman. This is the thing. If you really want to have people take yourself seriously, you have to act like an athlete, not like a showboater but an actual athlete. Take yourself seriously. And by the way, before someone says, you're not a real athlete, blah, 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 well, guess what? Uh, going back and talking crap is not gonna reverse this. You manning or woman or whatever you want up is right. you being bigger. When you become bigger, you become the Well, athlete. yeah, I mean, that's, that's the thing. I mean, like, okay, you know, this is early on. You know, we're first just starting this Overwatch League. But to understand that people won't get like people won't get this because like you know the average person watching this because of this shit. Yeah. Because you know like your average average gamer who is in this league are very young. You know we love our young audience, but you know you gotta mm. understand that in this in this you right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You, you really gotta turn it into something like that. Yes. Yes. All yes. The time. No, yeah, I know. I get turned on when someone calls me a blockhead. You don't understand. Oh, that's that. Wait, like what? It's your is your four quarters. Ah. Uh, uh, bumper to bumper. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 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 oh my god. Uh, Wait, is your definition of blockhead different from my definition of blockhead? <laughs> no. Okay. Anyway, okay. Anyway, though, like I said, kids, like I said, I mean, I mean it's a thing we got to grow up with. We got to be respectful for each other. I mean, well, at least if you're going to be trying to get into the Overwatch League or even their, you know, their training grounds or whatever they're doing, you got to understand that. Well, yeah, they uh, they got this stuff. You know that, right? You guys are people. So they go, they go to the, the, they're going to Philadelphia Field. Realizing I'm not supposed to go there, and he goes to some chicken shit fucking thing, <laughs> and, he, and he told me I had to say it one more time to get in a bus. I had to say it one more time. Any fucking Philly fans out there, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> give us a shout out. All right? No, I'm not. I'm not talking about Philly fans. Okay. But no, you know. No, no, big thing, big thing. Sad. Like I said, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, but what I'm saying is, I like that. 
All right, you know, you were picked amongst a millions of Twitch streamers out there. That's a lot of twitching, first That's of all. That's a lot of twitching. Yeah. You're a twitchy motherfucker. Yeah. You know, oh, oh, oh. But, like, you were picked. You have a you have a responsibility now. Yeah. You can't be calling people... You can't be calling people these names. And, you know, you you got cameras on you now. Yeah. But, but even that, I mean, you're, you're part of this Overwatch League. Show people that it deserves to be known sure. as a freaking... Sure, it's an actual competitive sport, period. Yeah, not period. Ju- not just a bunch of kids sitting in front of computers playing. Oh, and by the way, for people saying say, that's censorship. No, no, there's censorship, there's freedom of speech, and they're just fucking common goddamn sense. I mean, a lot of people really go off from both sides, but in reality, that was just untasteful. We can all agree on that. Yeah. Let, let's grow up If you now. guys have been yeah. following the, the news, XQC and spat racial slurs to an uh, opponent team, uh, a, a member of an opponent's team, which again, he the guy well, was punished. Say, oh, he said. Well, we can't about say anything right? about yeah. Something about. Well, that, that's that's homophobic. No, that, that's homophobic. It's it's not. You can't you can't do that. Yeah. You can't do that. The same at the seventies. <laughs> stay classy wherever you're from. Right. Stay classy. No. <laughs> this ain't a bottle of scotch. No. It's a keg of scotch. It's ain't that. It ain't the you, can't, you know, it's just it's bad etiquette. You can't do it. You shouldn't be doing it. I mean, like, that's the thing, you know, like, and you should prove to be, they should be to prove to be role models for kids playing these games yeah, and doing this. period. I mean, think about this. I mean, president aside, <laughs> I mean, think about this, though. You're paid a lot of money to play video games. Now, I'm going to say that slower. Uh, you are paid a lot of money to play video games. Play video games. Period. Blockheads. I wish I got played oh. to play video games. Oh, my God. I, I would just love that. I should get freaking paid to freaking play Mega Man and freaking and beat that world record all the time. What's but it's not, it's not It's not. recorded because, you know, you can't because I don't record shit because I don't got a recorder. We don't have a recorder because we're still a felony. We're still in our felony class. Right. And we only have so many uh, fans to blow in our genitals. Yeah, that's right, people. We're naked doing this. You're <laughs> naked. Helicopter. Watch, hear, hear this. Listen to the helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter, helicopter. Was that an actual helicopter? That passes? probably was a heli- real helicopter. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, that's that. Hey, you know if you actually shoot, shoot a fucking laser beam to a helicopter, it's a better a federal crime. Yeah, it is a federal crime. Good. You can't do that. But, okay, but anyway. Flat anyway, <laughs> right? Back to the East, but because this isn't just, a, uh, isn't just a player problem. Yeah. You know, this also comes to the Overwatch League itself. The dude, they they don't have the the code of conduct up anywhere on the on the online. Okay, all right. On the interwebs, it's not there. No, here's a stupid thing, you know. We do actually the code of conduct because it's not that people are stupid, but they're smart asses. They're like, uh, I didn't know I could say that. Common sense, but it's written down. Now, if you have this shit, you owe us three thousand dollars. No, shut shut the fuck up. You sign a dot, mm-hmm. and then it'll be like, but I got the. The Friday, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a level of ridiculousness we get to. <laughs> you sit dicking around and our dicks are out. Yeah, right. Dr. Dick. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, so like I said, Blizzard is not, it's nothing too because I'm at... You guys, look, I mean, you guys sanctioned this. They sanctioned this thing. Yeah. You know, like I said, that's the thing you gotta watch out for younger, younger players. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, those but young, I mean, young crap, players have, right. have the uh, have the advantage. They got the, the the eyesight and the twitchiness. You know, they got who, who, they the, can process barely a billion things at once. The eighteen year old is no faster than a twenty five year old. Yeah, but these guys are like sixteen and fifteen. That's because they um. It's be here's the thing. They're, sixteen year olds uh-huh. are 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 the the fucking they're the, they're the guys playing these games because it's brand new. And what are what do kids jump into? Brand new shit. Oh yeah, they start, they grow up with these I mean, smartphones. Here's a good example. I mean, there's many stupid. Have you ass ever played with a black and white TV? Right. I mean, there's many stupid ass things on YouTube, and 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 I know back in the day they used to have amazing content before YouTube, like flash car- cartoons, like like the show Tomorrow's Nobodies. And I know 100 if they were there during the hate. I mean, the really big boom of YouTube. I could have seen that show explode. Problem is, it was pre YouTube. Oh, yeah. I mean, so, sh- I remember, I remember I know, but gaming competition shows before, you know? Exactly. Arena! Shout out to Arena. Arena. But the thing about this, though, is the reason why I bring this up, though, is, you know, it not the older cats don't have the same tools and didn't have the same things. I mean, the 30 year old guy right now is not going to practice as much because you have these young kids. The 30 year old guy is not. Oh, as yeah, because we got But when he was 20, there was no. 
Twitch. There was, there was no Twitch. No, there was no. Online. It was yeah, just probably natural, online. natural <laughs> strength. Exactly. Different. Natural gaming strength. You know. Exactly. It's, it's, it wasn't a competition. Like, of course, it's a competition because live, but. It's the, there wasn't a real big thing, you know. It was not available, and that's why you see younger cats because they always jump in the latest thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, man, like, I, I mean, no, 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 knock it to the younger cats. I mean, hey, they got yeah, to set down natural evolution right in front of your ass. Natural, natural selection. Natural selection. Yeah, you know, like freaking what old old timey gamers like us. Hey, we had our Atari six. We we're not that old actually. We had our Sega Genesis pads and all that stuff. These kids grow up with like freaking twelve buttons on their controllers. I'm telling you, it's not. It's we like, we evolved they, they, to play games just like them. It's just we don't see we don't well, see esports like them because we didn't grow up with esports. Well, yeah, we grew up with football. <laughs> we, we, yeah, we well, grew they, up with they grew uh, what is football. Up, well, well, the medium was actually there in front of them, and when you had the medium there first, mm-hmm. you know, and when you're growing with growing up with the medium, you actually have a better understanding it oh, yeah. compared to us having to learn a new medium oh, yeah. while we had some before oh, yeah. and that's why they're actually better mostly because they're more familiar but you know if we they're both born the with joysticks thing, in their hands bro dude we were born we, with we, joysticks dude, we didn't have D-pads. joysticks we had d-pads yes and then we had the, jo- the jo- uh, joysticks <laughs> of the 64 that, 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 that controller that 64 controller. That 64 controller imagine having a dual stick shooter without the second stick I, I can imagine um what you call there's some Trekkie fans. I mean, look at this. Do the trust Star Trek symbol? It uh, looks like a fucking 64 controller. Oh, that's a, that is a 64 controller. I know, right? Live long and no. Live long that, and that go, did, that go not, fuck that yourself. Did, yeah, that did not live long at all. Check it out. Check it out. That did, that did. Both sides. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. If you didn't Ooh. notice, nakedly I flipped off the, the mic, which is a great mic. Why would you do that? It's a good mic. Why would you do that? That's a good mic. I know, but you know, anyway. You feel sad now. I never, I'm never sad. No, no, no. The mic feels sad. Oh. Well, He's probably not gonna keep recording this now. That's not. That's not cool. Well. <laughs> it's okay, Mike. You're good. No, th- thanks, guys. I, I, I just sometimes, sometimes I need some reassurance. Your reassurance, yeah. Yeah, fuck you, you blockhead. <laughs> no, you terrible. Like- you horrible fucking blockhead. Yeah, but anyway, fucking. Okay, besides that, you know, that's that's Blizzard's thing. You know, they, thing. they're not gonna, they're not gonna freaking. Um, they're gonna keep continuing trying to make this into an actual thing. Which, like I said, more power to you if you can, you could do that. But you gotta remember this: they're a corporation. They're trying to make money. And by doing that, you, you know, they, you know, it, for both sides, you need to make sure that, that, what's called, that your code conduct's up to date, make sure people know what they're looking at, mm-hmm. because this, this whole overall thing was a gamble for them. It was. They're losing a lot of money out of this. What, what I did not notice is, why, if you're going to do something like this, why don't you have all these things ahead? I mean, you're a corporation. You guys have a ton of lawyers just to write one section of this, and you don't do this? Come on, guys. Right, man. I, I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing thing that, that you have something like this. This is actually an amazing thing. It's a new great time. But you gotta understand this. You actually gotta have some rules and conducts because people, they will uh, sway, uh, sway left they, when you want them to go right. This isn't go a perfect right world. Left. It's not. People. It's not. People will find any way to cheat. I mean, hell, a freaking, a freaking Melee's freaking competitive scene is based off freaking exploiting the fucking game. Oh my god. Let me tell let me tell the story really quick. You wanna tell the story? Tell the story. Alright. <clears throat> so my um well actually it just involves my me and my to the bar, that's it. They wanna play melee. Some guys want at the bar wanna play melee instead of um instead of what's it, the Wii version called? Uh Wii U. Bra- the no. Bra- yeah, yeah. No, 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 yeah. They wanna play Smash Brothers two instead of part three. Uh, because they're more familiar. But what I found out recently is the reason why most uh, Smash Brothers 2 fans prefer the GameCube version is because the controls are, you can do more exploits. And some professional gamers themselves are professional gamers because they fuck up the stick just enough to fuck it up. They play better because the stick's fucked up. Now, I don't know about you, but people, I mean, there's few guys who actually bitch about fresh controls. Right? You got, you got a, what happened to that one well, guy? Well, I mean, there was, there was in the news, was, um, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't got the information exactly right in front of me. Which called the Blockhead guy, 7. The, Blockhead 7, but let's put it, like, he made a big deal about having, not having a broken in controller. Okay. The, the place that offered him, hey, a brand new GameCube controller to work with, but no. Apparently, you need, in order to win, you need to have a GameCube controller that's just broken in enough so you can do your little exploits and cheat. There's, to, to make the freaking whole competition about exploits is ridiculous. I mean, like, unfortunately, that's what that's the big thing about Melee, and everybody loves watching that stuff. Yeah, everybody loves watching exploits. Ah, uh, that's just... And yes, let, let's go and sit down and watch people exploit each other on Final Destination for hours. Fantastic. Ah, uh, I can't do Great. it. Great. Can't do it. No, I couldn't do it. That's yeah. why I stopped. Do watching. it. That's why when you guys yeah. try to play Melee, do I it. fuck off. <laughs> 
Oh man, but let's it, play melee. But, no. but once again, they, they, like I said, there's all this stuff is run by big corporations in the end. They want to make money. They're gonna if people want to watch melee, yeah, they're gonna put it on there. Yeah. Evo's gonna make a melee part tournament, and you know why? Because this is a corporation. They're trying to make money. You know, every game company is a corporation. They know it's times where, yes, the company will think about the gamers, mm -hmm. but you got to remember in the overall big picture, they really want the money. Yeah. I mean, like, let's take, for example, what's going on right now. Xbox just announced that all their new games uh, that are going to come out, at least from Microsoft Studios, are going to be available right away to their, their Xbox Game Pass, which is kind of like a Netflix for gaming. Mm -hmm. Sounds freaking amazing. Yeah. You're a freaking gamer. Oh, my God, I get the new Crackdown right away. Mm -hmm. I get the new State of Decay right away. The crazy thing about Crackdown and State of the K, mm -hmm. they're open world games. That means that you you can get that, you can continue to keep paying $10 a month. Eventually the game will pay for itself. All right, but let's see what happens when you get a What happens there? You know what's gonna happen? Microsoft ain't gonna put that on their system, their, their thing right away. You put an error because you can beat it within an hour or two. Okay. That's not that's not the point of that. You know, the, the, here's the gambling with this because of their far back, they're so far back in the, in the numbers against PlayStation and freaking Nintendo's catching up big time with the Switch. So, I mean, what? You gotta, you gotta do the big gamble. You gotta be the big gamble. But you gotta remember this. They're not doing this because they love, hey, gamers, we're doing this because we like you. No. They're doing this to try to get their money back, pretty much. I mean, it's all corporations, though. I mean, see, what they're trying to do is they're trying to play catch-up. I mean, there was some dirty tricks involved in the beginning to swave it away. What I think they're doing, why they're doing this, though, is because, yes, number game-wise, they are doing this, but they had a plan like this and actually trying to fix their shit. Now they are fixing it and they're giving us this. This is gonna bring in way more people because let's face it, it is a business. You don't buy a fucking, I mean those guys who buy iPhone here don't buy it because it looks pretty. They buy it because they know the company and they go with the company. I and mean, some people don't even care about shady practices. I mean, look at the other two. But with that though, a company stays a company by selling products to the consumer. This is basic 101. Now, you could easily mess uh, mess up your reputation by uh, some problems here, a, a rep say something stupid, or the combination of both. But if you know how to bring in your consumer, you can you can ha and uh, you get them solid and, and stuck to your system. You tend to you can actually mess up more here or there. But some, for instance, like the Switch, played the Wii card again. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I hate that. I hate that. They, okay. They like, play a trend. Like, play like a I've had, I've said to say this multiple times. Mm -hmm. I don't hate Nintendo, but I, I, I just believe that, you know, get, going along with the whole, and again, this comes down because they're a corporation that wants money doing the easy route because you know, people are going to buy it is just kind of like, I don't know, to me, it kind of seems so kind of like shady tech. I mean, like, Hey, you know, again, you, I love Mario. I love Zelda. Yeah. But knowing that you could possibly create a system that can make very HD realistic. Even that, I mean, hell, you can make a freaking open world as big as oh, Grand Theft Auto okay. Five. But I, they're choosing not to because they know that they can get away with the having to do it half-assed. Well, I think um, their games are based off their system. I mean, that's why their games look the best in their systems. I think um, what they're sh not shady tactics. They're half-assed tactics. Half-assed tactics. All right. Uh, their half-assed tactics would be, um, you know, them making a system. <laughs> no, no offense though, but all honestly, Sony's a shady motherfucker. And you know what? Like you know what? I, I I dislike you know the people who complain about this. That, like Monster Hunter World is not coming to Switch. Good, good. Capcom shouldn't buck under that either. They shouldn't be like, well, we're gonna release. release. No, you know why? Because that Switch Switch wants to go low ball. They want to freaking start using low fi low fi fidelity graphics and whatnot. Fine, you get punished by not freaking getting the, a game that everybody has. Because you know why? Capcom wants to move forward. They want to release something that. You can only do on these big systems, and hey, if Nintendo got to get left behind, so be it. Same thing with uh, Square. Square is releasing, not gonna release the the real Final Fantasy 15 on it. You're gonna get cheapy versions. I mean, let's face it though. Like, third party treated is they're gonna treat the the Switch like they treat the uh, the Wii. It, exactly. The 360, PS4. I mean, it's 360 and uh, PS3 had um had the better real blockbuster games, while the Switch had either a chicken shit uh, control version of it or a different version of it. Like, let's say um, the the last-gen consoles had Silent Hill, the new one had a remake of one who gives no yeah, one who, shit. Yeah, who do you? Yeah. Here, here's the thing, you know, like I said, when, once it's all once it's all said and done, like the next three years, watch, is going to be able to once again become a shovelware system. And, you know, I that's what I hate about that, you know? It's like seeing the Nintendo go ahead and do stuff like that. No, what, what I don't understand, though, is, which I, I don't understand this at all, I mean, 
Because I understand why Sony did it with the Vita, I mean. But why would Nintendo have a SD card um, based system? And everyone and their grandmothers. Well, because it's a handheld. I know, but it, think about this. Yeah, it's a handheld. Fantastic. It's a great, strong handheld for fucking three, uh, AAA games. Triple yeah. A games are not made by the kilobytes anymore. They're yeah, made exactly. by the gigs. Oh, yeah. The many of gigs. And people complain about, well, it's filling up my hard drive really fast. Uh, games are too big nowadays. Yes. No shit. Adding more pixels, a uh, better physics engine, better AI and lighting. And guess what? That takes up memory. You want a shitty version of a game that, that doesn't have that much memory? Fantastic. You want to take it portable? More power to you, you know. That, and you, there's a great, there's like a great said, crowd for that. And but. you want to know what? Nintendo isn't, you know. Again, they're not doing it for the, but, you know, instead of doing it for the gamers, supposedly, hey, you know what they release? They re- they want to release SD cards made for the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. That which that. once again, they're just SD cards just with Nintendo Switch yeah, pictures. Like I said, that's what I'm saying. For the no. price of what you could, where you get a Vita memory card for, believe it or not. Wait, how much is a? Uh, like a 64 gig will probably cost you like 50, 40 bucks. Which shouldn't cost you that much. The Vita one is like a hundred. Well, yeah, well, yeah. No, well, <laughs> these are more, more, they just for a picture of Mario on your SD card. Yeah, but what yeah. I understand is... Get out the Game Boy printer. Here's Print the some thing. freaking old school Mario pictures and stick it onto the freaking SD card. Here's... <laughs> what I don't understand is... Okay, wh- why why the hell? Why the, I mean, let me tell you this. Why couldn't they at least... And not 100 gigs, fuck that. At least 500 gigs. I mean, the lowest you can go with the new systems is 500 gigs. Why couldn't you even match them in that? Though? Because you can't keep a hard drive portable. Or not, not like a... So not not they something a, that could they be can convenient. Have a, they can have a stalled... Uh, they can easily put a solid state in there. Yeah. No, but not conveniently. What do you mean? Like fucking... You'll hear that thing spinning and it'll probably weigh down the system. No, solid state. Oh. The non-moving yeah. one, the one that does, we do not move, less movable components. Yeah, but again, I think it'll weigh down the system and then uh, it wouldn't be handheld, would it? It would be, watch, it happens. Have you seen how big the thing is already? It's here's, a, here's a good example. Hold my phone, 64 gigs. Yeah, you're, but you know the switch, the switch is like double the size of your phone. Really? Wow, it's double the size, so you mean I can have more gigs? Yes, but you, you got <laughs> You see what I'm phone, saying? Your phone, your, it's, if it, your, the switch weighs lighter than your phone. And that's what they're trying to keep people to freaking... The Switch is not lighter than my phone. First of all, I have a case in this thing, but it's not lighter than my phone. phone, Two, but but make it any heavier than, you know... Yeah, but the thing is, it's not one big-ass blocky uh, blocky thing. It's a tiny-ass chip. A tiny-ass chip Yeah, but your phone isn't 500 gigs. No, it's 64 gigs. 64 gigs. Yeah, because they choose to have 64 gigs. But the thing is, the size is not not even bigger than an inch. like (laughs) half an inch. Size doesn't matter. No key. So... They can they can put a larger fucking uh, a memory card or a larger thing stocked in there because 32 gig how much is it um, loaded with? Uh yeah like 64 gigs. 64 does it really have 64 gigs? Yeah something like that. And daffy as fuck. That's daffy. But my phone has 64 gigs for shit designed to be small. While they're trying to claim to be a fucking hybrid company, well guess what? Hybrid means you have both the best It's a half that I mean, fucking You're pretty much burden. buying cartridges, might as well. Yeah. Yeah, but like you know, because that's the, that's a tactic. Like I said, hey, it's like, a bad tactic, though. It's a bad tactic, but guess it's what? It's gonna bite him in it the don't ass. Ma- later. It will eventually. Oh yeah, patches and all it that will. stuff. I mean, it is right now. But like I said, yeah, I mean, like that's a thing, you know, like companies Rest like that. 13. I mean, like they're, they're, yeah, WrestleMania. Four, 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 it, 17. 17. Right? Uh, 18. What else? 18. WrestleMania set 18. WWE 18. Yeah. Uh, anyway, okay, yeah. WrestleMania what, what, 18. What are those? Superstar. Yeah, dump, dump, uh, wrestling. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, like I said, I mean, like this shady company companies do things left and right, which are bad. For everybody. I know. I mean, but I mean, like you know, some companies like okay, you like EA for example, right yeah. now. They are they're showing the footage and look all this amazing stuff for a game called Anthem, mm-hmm. which looks amazing by the way. Yeah, it looks fucking look sick, amazing. amazing. Dude. But you gotta remember who's behind it, EA. All right. Mm-hmm. La- uh, last year, in the Mass Effect Andromeda came out, half-assed reception because it, it was a terrible game. But then when they released the trailer for Anthem, you could tell where all the talent went. Yeah. Which which is shame because now you're fucking now you're marketing pretty much. Hey, Mass Effect's here. Come buy it. And every, like pretty much knowing that the game is crap. They just bit, busted an alien, alien clone. Uh, yeah, exactly. But then it's like, oh, by the way, here's a real Mass Effect uh, anthem, more or less, because if you look at it, it's Mass Effect. It's Mass Effect. It's Mass Effect with a lot of other shit. The next gen. And before everyone says, well, the next gen, you have to learn new things. The facial animation looks horrible. Freaking Mass Effect 3 looked better than Mass Effect Andromeda. Legitly. And Mass, I don't know. I'm just fucking trying to. Looks cool though. Trying to block it. Block. <laughs> no. L block. Uh, L block. This is madness. 
<laughs> anyway. Oh, no, yeah, no, no, that. no, that's a great video. Oh, no, shit. but the fucking, um, yeah, but like I said, you know, EA is not in good terms right now. You guys got to remember this, too, is, you know, the whole loot box debacle for Battlefront. Oh, God. That was terrible. So, yeah. do you, like, th- think uh, closely. You think that company's going to do you any good once they, when Anthem comes out? I'm looking at amazing looking game, but we're, you know, uh, the, we can only wait and see what happens when that comes out. Well, the thing about EA, though, is they do make amazing games. They do. And once they, in a while, they, they make sure gems. They make, I mean, yeah. they make a lot of good gems. Oh, yeah. And frankly, I can't say they're my favorite publisher, but they make uh, one of my favorite, I mean, publish one of my favorite games, um, Time Splinters 3. Right. So, you know, when, when I boot that game up, the first thing I see is EA Games challenge everything. And I play the fucking game. Oh, man, but that and, was back then. That was back then. Yeah, I know, I know, but... You could, that's back then EA, you know? I mean, they made a bunch of great games. So I'm, what I'm trying to say is, once in a uh, blue moon, they become a gaming company instead of a company. Right? Yeah, I know that sounds like an oxymoron to the whole situation we're talking about right here, but once in a while, gaming companies do cater to their fans. Because in the end, gaming is made both for, for the fans and for the companies. You need a good balance in both. You need a good balance for both, you know, but never, like I said, as much as I, lo- I like Xbox, I like PlayStation, yeah, let's face it, their, their corporations are still doing some shady crap. And, yeah. You know, and, and like, you know, they're not indie developers who do things for the love of, of gamers, which, and, and not only, not only that, not all of them are like that either. But like, like I said, but the thing is this, if we, if you do support your, 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 you know, your gaming companies, that's more power to you. You know, they will release stuff that you will like, but you know, but you can't, you know, you also can't blame them for trying to do stuff to try to make themselves more money in this cutthroat time of how much games cost and how things, you know, how things go about. You got to compete somehow. It's true. I mean, games are only bigger, faster, stronger, more loud, or shinier. And we still pay, in the States, of course, 60 bucks for it, you know? Right. Or wherever country you're from, you probably still pay the same uh, last-gen uh, price. Exactly. It does take a hit here and there. I'm not trying to offend these pricks, but I'm just saying, you know, that's still amazing to pay only that. I mean, it's still 60 bucks, right? Right. Like, yeah, you know, games 60 bucks. Yeah, 60 bucks. Hey, bro, we were paying 80 bucks for Super Nintendo games. <laughs> Fuck off, really? Yeah, well, when you think about it back then, they were like 60, 70 bucks. Yeah, I know. I mean, right. well, wait, were they really 60 or 70 bucks? Yes, man. You remember that? I don't know. No, I never, but I never, really well, right? first of all, I never played, um, I didn't play um, Super Nintendo until like I had a, a 64. I until you had a 64. And um, I had a, we just played the Sega Genesis like a fiend. And when the 64 came out, we had fun. And when we had a PlayStation, that was it. <laughs> All we did was play Tenchu and oh my god, Tenchu 2. Oh. Shit, Driver 2, Metal Gear Solid. Ah. Yeah, nostalgia is nostalgia's another topic for another time. Otherwise, that's about it. That's all we got for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, follow us on on, on YouTube and uh, you know, hit the notification bell, subscribe, like, you know what it is. I did all that backwards, but oh well. Follow me on uh, DJ Guttercat on Twitters and all that stuff. And we'll see you guys uh, next week. Maybe we'll have something better to talk about because we're in a dry spell right now. It's a dry spell. It's Maybe a dry we'll talk spell. about the dry spell itself. <sighs> yes, we're going to talk about that. Burf. Burf. All right, let's shut this thing out. Oh. All right. So, remember how last week mm-hmm. I lifted my nutsack and, uh, in front of the mirror? Well, I actually did it. Nothing. All right? right. Nothing. Like but then I saw my balloon knot. And it was um, orange. How, how do you how do you do that? Like I mean, like is it just because you sit on it too much? No, no, no. What, what I did what would be how I find out or how why is it orange? What, what, why does it not? We mean well, how is it? Why is it not? What's, <laughs> What's a balloon knot? Yeah. You know my asshole. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> a, a balloon knot's an asshole. You know, you're, trying, see, you're, you're telling me all these these. these. You're telling me all these lingos. My is asshole's asshole. orange. I know, but blue not means asshole. Oh, just wow. like a rusty chair's badge. And, just like a like and just a, like owls are the devil. Owls are not the fucking devil. Owls are fucking birds. They're birds. Who the fuck thinks owls? Nobody should think owls are fucking well, bad. Uh, d- dude, the freaking light's still on the microphone. Uh, sh- yeah, uh, but what was that? Wait, wait, which red means um, stop though? So it's not recording. It's not. It shouldn't be recording. I mean, I mean, we, we fired all the other technicians because we thought we could do this ourselves. It shouldn't be recording. Okay, so who's, who's working the, the button now?